and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on for some Grixis aggro. So this is a pretty neat looking donation deck that the the viewer that donated this deck, whenever they made it, they wanted to, like their favorite modern deck is Grixis Shadow. And they wanted to kind of make a, um, what's up Hawkeye? A standard deck um, kind of similar to Grixis Shadow. So we have Knight of the Ebon Legion is like our death shadow. You know, it's like our, our one mana creature that uh, later on in the game is is really big and ends games pretty quickly. And then besides that, we have, you know, like our Thought Seize, we have our Thought Erasure, we have like some some good removal spells, like the, the good removal spells of the format. Um, and uh, besides that, we have some other big threats, you know, like your Gurmag Angler, you got your Rotting Regisaur, um, and then of course, like our Nickel Bulls, we have our other big threats as well. Um, War Bosses are our Fast Clock. Um, Chandra is like our, our Snapcaster Mage. Uh, you know, yeah. That's a pretty good comparison there. And Mu Yanling also um, can play a little offense and defense. So, you know, like we, we have like some de defensive aspects to our deck uh, to, you know, disrupt our opponent. And then also some really fast clock aspects of our deck, too, with the Knight, Regisaur, War Bosses, and, and so on. Um, so, yeah, this this is a pretty cool little idea. And, and this deck does look pretty sweet. I, I agree. Yeah, this, this is going to be a fun one here. Um, yeah, so that's that's kind of like the, the origin of our decks. We're playing like a, a Death Shadow deck in Standard. And yeah, we're just going to be disrupting our opponent with all this removal, help, hoping to you know, have our War Bosses and Riding Registrars and Knight of the Ebon Legions get through. So, so that's what our deck's all about. Let's give it a try. And see how it plays. So let's play. So just like we always do with donation decks, we're gonna play through a league here. Yeah, I'd say just kind of yeah. Looking at the deck, Mu Yanling is maybe my least favorite card. Just looking at it, but we'll see how how Mu plays. Could play better. But yeah, the double blue could be rough. We'll see. <laughs> Four blue lands immediately. Let me keep this. We're, so we got 24 lands. We don't have any basics. We have uh, just our our 24 duels in these colors. And so just want to like bedeck some creature and then have like war boss keep attacking. All right, well, that's really bad. They're already drawing land to land immediately. So we only have 17 out of 51 cards left that are land, so like one-third. So like we have like two-thirds chance to draw spells for a while. Perfect hand for our opponent, though. Turn two, Grow Spiral. Turn three, Risen Reef. Ooh, no, no extra land drop though. Are you kidding me? Bleh. <laughs> Elijah, you're not supposed to call that we're gonna get flooded before the game. Y'all are not helping me out. You're supposed to call that we're going to draw well. Don't 
So we have to attack one creature into your rock anyway. Darn. They started blocking the wrong creature. Attacking into your rock is not, you know, it's being forced to trump attack into life linkers is a real feels bad. Oh, I can't minus two this bedeck? Does it cost too much? Oh, that is awful. Oh, that's really bad. Study? Focus? I just want to burn stuff already. That's really bad. Yeah, it counts as both combined. I wonder why my opponent's taking these cards that don't matter. Pretty glad we drew that land though. All of ours are getting stolen. Can we have our opponent, can we mill our opponent out? They're drawing an extra six cards a turn. Maybe we can mill them out. That's another four cards. Maybe they don't have Nexus. They have 32. So they've not gone through half their deck yet. Somewhere. There we go. Mill some more cards. Hmm. They have a Jace.
All right, they're down to 24 cards. Draw six. Can we draw removal for Jace? Down to 18. My opponent could have just taken my Chandra and my War Boss and killed me, but instead just took some lands. And now they gotta deal with this. Their clock's going down. Pretend to pretend. Tell me if you've seen this one before. Forgotten. And kinda of all we need to do is draw like a bedevil. I'm always a step ahead. Draw a bedevil for Jace and surprise kill them. Well blood for bones is pretty great. Good to know. So 13, so that's 7, that's 9. Okay, so they, they do win here at end step. So yeah, they're, they're going to win here. No. They need to draw one more card, I guess. Which, I don't think they activated J, so if they just activate J, so they, right? Yeah, no, they did not activate Jace. They just got... All they have to do is do that. All right, they did that. Yeah, with the agents, they needed one more because the agents draw six. And, of course, that just gets rid of three. Whoops. Okay. Moving stuff. We don't have very good removal here for your rock. So the problem with Thieva Sanity, I mean, I guess we try Thieva Sanity though. The the problem with Thieva Sanity is a Boreal Grazer. I think I'm pretty uninterested in Mu Yanling. I can't see all the cards. I'm out of the way. 
Yeah, these bedecks didn't look so good. Maybe get some negates. Yeah, never seen a Jace win before, so there you go. Yeah, so that's what a Jace win looks like. Alright, no threats yet. We'll keep the turn 2 Thought Erasure. Well, Big Chandra doesn't, yeah, I mean, maybe. Big Chandra doesn't, um, you know, like, they're playing a lot of elementals, so, like, the minus three doesn't get those. So they're playing Leafkin next turn. Let's get rid of Leafkin. So they don't get that next turn. I get to just go War Boss. And then, of course, if they thought erasure, then I'm attacking with a war boss. That's kind of fine. Taking the shock, huh? I thought it was going to be one of the other two. I thought shock was the worst card. I guess since Shock's the worst card, they want they want to take that one because, you know, Thought Erasure bug, whatever they take, I'm drawing. So that's pretty smart that whatever they take, I'm drawing, so I'm drawing a Shock. <laughs> of course, if they take Negate, then, you know, my hand looks the same no matter what they, they choose. under this somewhat but not completely preposterous scenario. Do I get more damage in if I shock them or the Risen Reef? I guess the Reef. Getting the, keeping the extra 1-1. One, one. Yeah, I mean, if they have Veil of Summer, they're probably just casting it to draw a card, if that's what they got here. Yeah. All right, game number three.
Is Bedeck better than Shock? They just have all the O3s. I'll just keep shock. <laughs> yeah, opponent's like, oh, this deck does play non-land cards. Sure didn't seem like it. That first game. Oh, it's okay, Wake. Okay, so you were playing against nothing but aggro, so that's why your your sideboard's very anti-aggro. I gotcha. It's all good. Let me get some spells. I'll do. Gross. Why can't I Legion's End Risen Reef? Hmm. I mean, Enter the God Eternals is like kind of the obvious one, but these Risen Reefs just draw a bunch of cards. Um. Ooh, okay. So I just have to bedevil here, right? If I don't bedevil, they could draw like another two cards. Potentially. At least another one card. If they have untapped green, then two cards. Yeah, I think we have to do that. Our removal's just been so awkward in this match. Against these these cards. Just don't have... Our removal's just not lining up very well. Because, you know, like, Bedevil is, like, the kind of card that we absolutely need Bedevil for, like, the big things. Using it on a Risen Reef is such a feels bad, because now we won't have that for the big things. About the best thing we can Legion's End is Krasis. Oh, come on. Ugh. Why is Agent of Treachery a card? This is just. This is just over. They have something better than Thief of Sanity and Rotting Registor. Okay, that did not work out. That did not work out. Soul Tie is really good.
Yeah. Well, I'll be... I'll be playing the... Yeah, we didn't play the Soul Tide... Yeah, we have our own Soul Tide Treachery deck. We didn't play that today, as y'all know, you know, with the Mono Black Control, but... I'll play it on Sunday. Actually, I'll be playing it on Sunday. And our Rank Up Sunday stream. Okay. So this is just a six-card hand, because Mu Yanling's dead. Um... We have Knight, Knight, and then some removal spells. I think we keep this. We got our Shadow. No, not Sultai again, please. That felt really bad last match. Okay, Bant. Still a bunch of stupid O3s. Okay. So we have to bedevil the knight. Cavalier, I mean. Land. Good enough. Yeah, so they didn't want to play the Cavalier because they knew I just shocked in. You know, I just shocked and passed, so it was just very evident that I had a removal spell. And so they didn't really want to just play. Um, Cavalier into that. So they can take a turn from me by blocking with the Paradise Druid. If they want to. Great part about playing mana creatures. Never know when you'll you'll draw them. I'm gonna keep a devil up for like Cavalier Thorns. They draw it now. I don't want them to be able to get the trigger. I will aid you. I can help you no longer. Rise, my elemental friend. Attack. 
So they can they get to kill one knight if they block correctly. It's not really blocking correctly. So thing they the two mana creatures block one of the two threes and trade and then the the glacial fortress eats another but like then we have to pump the one that the glacial fortress blocks all right so it's better whenever we draw our death shadows Seems like a good ritual of soap matchup here. A very good ritual of soap matchup. I guess ritual of soap's kind of rough on our deck too, though. But we can set it up. All right, cavalier thorns. We can't kill. We need to switch up our removal spell somehow. Because, yeah, Shock, Coil, Bedeck, Cast Down, Legion's End. We don't have anything that kills anything big. We have two Bedevils. That's it. Or Killing Planeswalkers. Or big green creatures. Like, this doesn't even kill things. These don't. Hmm. So, yeah, we can't kill Planeswalkers or big creatures except for two, Bedev <coughs> two Bedevils. Blech. Yeah, y'all are right. Cast down kills Cavalier. Yeah, I could have some Noxious Grasps. With us, like, not having any 4-mana cards, I really wouldn't mind playing Vrasus Contempts. Like, like I think Vrasus Contempt would be better than Mu Yanling, for example. Or, like, and the Cruelty. Like, those could just be, all be Vrasus Contempts. That could be a thing. Yeah, I can play Vraska's in the main deck. I don't know why I didn't really just play the knight turn one. Because, yeah, we only have the, the Nickel Bolas, Nickel Bolas as, as far as four mana cards. Yeah, Kitty Dexterity, I decided just to, to do it tomorrow, the 12-hour stream anyway, even though we're still two sub-goals away um, from the next 12-hour stream. We'll just be a little farther away from our next one. Since we're since we're just doing the uh, sub battle stream you. once a month, I want to give you know a lot of people a chance to play in it. I should shock there. No, I no I shouldn't. Except to fairy and play. Duh. I was thinking if they draw Cavalier Thorns, I would want the cast nothing. down available.
Trust me, I have a plan. But yeah, so yeah, we need two more subscribers tonight to get the, to this sub goal here. So if you're enjoying this, the stream and like to help support me as somebody who's a full-time streamer, if you're enjoying it, consider uh, hitting that subscribe button. That's for either, if you have Amazon Prime, it's free. You can just link it to your Twitch account, you get Twitch Prime. Or, let's kill this thing. I want to grow the knights. No, let's kill Teferi. Or it's five dollars a month. This is hardly my work. And you get access to all those really cool emotes and the tie badge to have in chat also. Gross. If you show remorse. Should have dealt the four to them. Straight. No, I am not making this up as I go. These blue green cards have so much card advantage. Risen Reef, Krasis, Cavalier. Very good. Hoping no elemental here. Power surges through these lands. Be wary of the ground you walk on. Gross. Gross. I didn't I didn't think I did see that. Yeah, Samuel, I don't know. It did it didn't show up here on Oh yeah, there it goes. Like it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, there it was. <clears throat> the very end of the stream there, that five one. Yay. We have a removal spell that kills Cavalier. And they just get Cavalier back. Hmm. How am I supposed to do this? I guess I can't play instance. I guess I could cruelty and cast down it. Okay. Because trading cruelty for whatever they're going to draw off Cavalier is just good anyway. I can't, like, attack and then whenever they block Cruelty, it, which would be the best because of Teferi, of course. Um, so what if we attack... Attack them, make these Knights 2-3s? No, it's Nissa. Enough. We're still up a game though, so even if we lose this, we got a shot game three. Plus it's not over. Hope our opponent draws a land. Once or twice. Draw draw a couple lands here, give us some time. Nope. This land, we are all connected. Let's try this. The 
Take eleven, can I? No. Shock does nothing. Ugh. This is what green decks do. Like these. These green decks are just designed to make all your removal spells feel awful, which is exactly what's happened in this league with playing back-to-back -back Risen Reef decks. I mean, I guess... I mean, I guess we just have to kill Nissa here. They bounce a knight. We can barely stay alive. We can get rid of one blocker. Please just draw a land over there, opponent, for like two, three turns. Give us some time here, please. We're going to need it. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, glad yeah, glad you like the Vrass's Contempt suggestion. Yeah, because I think that could Okay. Oh, I've done the hero thing. Before. That could certainly help out. And fits a fine spot on our curve. What a draw. That's better than just playing Nicol Bolas, right? Maybe not. They just attack out, we go to one. I was like, yay, they drew a dead card. Oh, no, never mind. That cycles. Risen Reef. Yuck. That's the reason to keep the Legion's End, I suppose. Just an extra f four cards. All right, well, Deputy Nyssa kills us. Deputy Knight, then play Nyssa. Make it another 3-3. Three, three. Hmm. I wish Leaf King Druid doesn't have three toughness, so I'd feel a lot better about playing Cry of the Cornarium or that Nyssa didn't make three, three toughness things. Leaf is just really, really bad against Teferi. But maybe we just need to play it. No, I haven't. Giron, there's I haven't checked out the new tool album, is it? So it's really good? Yeah, Big Chandra, the minus doesn't kill any of the, any of these creatures anyway, because it's non elemental. Um Yeah, we could just go thief, thief. Yeah, just thief on the play and just hope it steals games. Um, 
I'm all for that. Just, you know, hope, hope we go like Thought Razor Thief kind of thing. I'm all for that. Um, just gonna take the shocks out for him. Sweet. Daniel said the same same card. Danic. Yeah. So what I'm gonna be doing for tomorrow? I'm gonna have like all the decks that we have that we've been playing a bunch. Um, so, you know, like 40 ish decks, you know, 40, 50 decks. I'm going to put them all on a wheel and I'll spin the wheel like for each match. I'll just spin the wheel and whatever deck comes up, I'll be playing that deck. So I'm going to be playing a different deck every match tomorrow against subscribers. And I know y'all always bring a whole bunch of like cool brews and everything too. So it's, it's a lot of fun of, of playing different decks each round and seeing so many different cards. It's really cool. So that's what we're going to be doing tomorrow all right let's get those lands let's curve out curve out curve out curve out Best, yeah, best of three for the sub battle, and unless, unless you want to play best of one, then then we'll do the best of one. But yeah, best of three. So I wanted to get War Boss going, but I guess what I didn't really consider that if I play Chandra in zero and we make. You know, two creatures deal two damage, and that would have grown, grown Knight of the Ebon Legion. Just have infinite mana now. That was a turn four Cavalier, right? Yeah, because they went turn two, Leafkin, Risen Reef hit a land. That's so gross. So yeah, start. I'm going to start tomorrow early. I'm starting the stream real early, 10 a.m. Eastern. So very early. If you're on Pacific time, that's three hours before that, so 9, 8, 7, so 7 a.m., Pacific time. Do I want to just... Do I want to do this to a ninth? Sure. But I know we have a... A pretty big European crowd, and so I wanted to start it out early for them. Yeah, hopefully Kurtash. So with doing the 12-hour stream the for the sub-battle stream, should be able to get to, like, everybody. Or, you know, lots of people. So they still have six mana. So turn five, 11 mana. Pretty good. After just playing blocker on two, blocker on three, blocker on four, and then turn five, 11 mana. Make that 13 mana. with getting a bunch more blockers now.
But I think we still got there. I've learned a bunch of new burn spells to try on you. Yeah, they're dead. Pretty crazy, because their deck doesn't really ramp any better than that. But I guess, like, besides the Nyssa, them having another 8 mana and having nothing to do but um, play Risen Reef. I don't really know why they, they shocked for Risen Reef also. They could have, you know, they could have just untapped a different land with Nyssa. Yeah, we got we got pretty fortunate there. Because, yeah, you, I guess you you just have this really tuned against aggro. You've been playing so much aggro. So, yeah. We get to we get to play on here. We get to play on. We had a really aggressive start. All right, opponent. Seems like this happens like the last league of the night every time. Hey, Gogo -Go Hendrix, getting the gifted sub. Thank you so much, Santa619. That's sub number nine, all right. We just need one more subscriber to get this sub goal. I was saying it, it seems like this happens like the last league every day, you know, like when it's like later on in the, the night, you get paired against somebody. Ah, 619 finishing that out also. All right, Shaka. Getting that gifted sub there. Thank you so much. 619 got us to our sub goal. Alright, so this is more what our deck's built for. Cool. Yeah, shock looks pretty good there. Yeah, our hand's looking real good. Okay. So, officially we're one sub goal away from a 12-hour stream, but... I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. Yeah, we have the backup Ravager, so we'll just take this trade. Whoa, main deck Blood Sun? That's gnarly. I don't know. So yeah, I could have waited until they declared attackers to shock. So what's what's the upside there, John? What's the upside of waiting until they declared attackers to shock? Like how? Like what? What positive can come from that if we know we're going to be shocking that thing anyway? Basically anything. Asking because I've, I've. 
I've uh, one, you know, tried doing that before, and my opponent sniffed out the removal spell and just didn't attack. And then whenever I, I use the removal spell, then they just get to firebrand do a damage to me. It's possible. We don't like they only played mountain. We don't really know their deck. They could just go like after after they attack, and then I shock their creature. They could just go island charter course. You never know. Like that could be just like a, a blue red aggressive deck, and then they get to just draw two. Uh, with the charter course there. That that could have been a thing. Ah, mommy! Keeping that sub going. But I... So, like, there's... So, if they play the haste 2-2 two -two, is a better shock. I don't... I actually don't know if that's a better shock than Firebrand, considering we had Legion's End in hand. I don't think it is. Because Firebrand pairs up with a 3 damage burn spell to kill Ravager, where that 1-2 doesn't. And it was just going to be a 1-2 there. You know, like They'd have to play a couple spells before it was the 2-2 two -two haste. So I think I think in that spot, casting shock on main phase, it's, it's only... That's that's just the thing to do. Okay, so it looks like we do have a lot of removal here for Mono Red. Um, I honestly don't mind Negate against Mono Red because countering Frenzy is big. Countering Four Mana Chandra is big, and then just even like later on, whenever you stabilize countering some Burn spells is pretty big too. I don't really want War Boss. Uh, it's, I guess Mu Yanling can be okay here. Making 4-4 four, four creatures is really nice. Seems like we just have a lot of cards to use here. I guess I'm getting rid of Chandra. Also. Yeah, that's that's what I, I've, I've definitely played against that, like where they... They sniffed out the removal spell, sack Firebrand, do a damage, cast Light of the Stage. Also. So Mu Yanling's like a gain six life card. Well, what's what's the other card we take out then? I guess Cruelty. Honestly, don't really see things to take out here. Yeah, I guess Cruelty. Um, I got, it's about to go. I got to cut and hit submit real quick. So I'm just taking out a move. Yeah, I could have taken out an erasure. The longer the game goes, the worse thought erasure gets. Best thing it could do, of course, is snag frenzy early. Could just take him out for negates. I wish we had a scry. Regisaurs are are quite good in this matchup. You know, six toughness, like they're they're just so hard to kill. Um so you know we gotta draw a black a black land, but there we go. But what I was gonna say is that this hand could certainly win. Where five cards is gonna be tough. I guess their first play is just... I guess they're just holding a bunch of burn spells in hand. Just no creatures.
Could, of course, have Wizard's Lightnings. Might as well just get rid of that Wizard. But definitely want to get rid of the Gutter Snipes. That thing's scary. I'll just be ditching this cast down. <clears throat> so we can play more Reggies. I guess I could discard Reggie and just cast down this Steamkin. Yeah, I guess we just do that. <clears throat> so yeah, they have double Firebrand just to chump block with both of them. And then send some damage my way. Yeah, I can't. Can't cast Bedevil or Cry. Don't have the two black. But we're still looking great. Because, you know, Riding Registrar has six toughness. Knight of the Ebon Legion has seven toughness. It's tough to kill those things. There's not really any reason to pause upkeep. Yeah, I can't I can't cast these. All right, 2 and 1. Yeah. Did like the stuff that we have against red. Rotting Regisaur really uh you know, really pulls its weight against the red decks for sure. Yeah, you can find the decks there on my Stream Decker page. You can also see the replays of the decks up on the YouTube channel. Um, that has a link to the deck list there as well. Um, and yeah, Marty Metal's already up. It's Path of Metal deck. It was really sweet. Uh, got your cat hair. It's just kind of in my face right now. All right, two and one. Gotcha. Yeah, Grixis, Grixis usually has a tough time with with uh, mono red, and so I understand your card choices. Yeah, if you're facing twenty percent mono red, that's so much mono red. Hey, Sergeant Air Raid with the Twitch Prime sub. Thanks, Sergeant Air Raid, and welcome to the channel. Uh, sure. You want to save the deck for Chandra Spitfire? Shock's annoying. Well, I guess I should update this. Shock's pretty annoying because it kills my war bass. My war fish, the war bass. How guys like fish? I like fish. Ah, really need that land. Really need that land.
Land. Hooray. So Bedeck, maybe I should save Bedeck. Like Bedeck can make the Nicol Bolas a 7-1. If we need to do like those extra three points of damage, you know, we can use Bedeck as, as a lightning bolt upstairs with the help of, um, or like just using it on Nicol Bolas. I'm happy as a hellion to start some fire. Oh, like tonight, Domino's is 50% off menu orders if you order online tonight. Ooh, is it too late for me to order a pizza? That would be that would be a good thing for me just to have, like, just to have a pizza for tomorrow's 12-hour stream that I can, like, quickly go warm up a slice. For for all all Labor Day weekend this weekend, huh? Till September first. Wonder how late the the Domino's is open near me. Near ish me. All right, we're going to play faster, Hawkeye. We're going to win a whole bunch of matches here, so we can go get some pizza before it closes. All right, mono red, cavalcade, let's get cry and soot. Enter the God Eternals. Basically, we we need to be worried about three mana Chandra and Spitfire. This can have Spitfire lose flying. That's kind of cool. Let's kill Spitfire. So, um, Cruelty kill Spitfire. Warboss gets shocked, so Warboss leaves. And then I guess, what else did we take out last time? Oh, we took out these because they can just attack these really easily. And yeah, I'm fine with that. And then trim a thought erasure. Or two, we cut we cut the Obnixilus' cruelty, but I think in this matchup, because Chandra Spitfire is so important, I want to keep cruelty. So we'll just cut two thought erasures. I can't, oh no, I'm, where I live, there's no delivery to my house. I live like up on a mountain, I have to drive down the mountain and then drive to the store, it's like 20 minutes away. They don't do delivery where I'm at though. Okay, stop laying on the keyboard. Just, I want to lay right here on the keyboard. I'm like holding him off of the keyboard. He's like, nope, this is my spot. Good looking hand, double black. For that set. But again, really Chandra from their end is the scariest card right now. Yeah, that wasn't a, a real message. That was a just a a troll there. No, not you. I'm trying to like look over Hawkeye. <laughs> Get to my cards. Double war bass. Double Warfish. We'll take one of them. Mm. I mean, I'm going to need this land for Enter the God Eternals. So yeah, I guess I just keep it. So I'm just saving two life with that coil. Maybe that's not a, a good coil. Just trading coil for two life.
Maybe it's a great coil. Now we have shock still for war boss. And then God Eternals for Spitfire. I guess they just have all three mana cards in their hand. And just drew more Spitfires and War Bosses and Chandras. All right, 3-1. Let's keep getting paired against the red decks. GG's. Yeah, I mean, we were we talked we like during the mono black deck when we were talking about so much food there. Um, our opponent was playing like that really slow deck, and we just had like a lot of a lot of time, so we were just talking about food a whole lot. And now now I'm getting really hungry. I just had cereal this morning. That's all I've had. It's like 10, 10 p.m. now. That cereal around like nine thirty this morning. So, so yeah, now I'm hungry. Ooh, I like this. Um, I think we save this. I don't think we let our knight... I have to keep looking over here. To see my hand because I, I can only see like Legion's end to the left. I can't see the rest of the screen because of Hawkeye. So I was thinking like I don't want my knight to just get shocked and I was thinking like maybe if we wait till like four mana we can hold up the activation. I don't know if that's really that efficient though. All right Caesar have a good night. Thanks Sergeant Air Raid. Thank you. Thank you so much. I don't know why we didn't get a notification here on Streamlabs. I don't know why they didn't go up, but thanks for the cheers. I guess I can just click the space bar. So yeah, they had that shock the whole time. We're at least going to make them use two removal spells on it. good. I guess I could have bedazzled and destroyed a land. Yeah, they haven't been playing lands. Let's do that. Should have done this before. Yeah, no more crackling drakes for you. But if they if they didn't draw a land there, they would have had to just go to discard. Because like they were sitting with seven cards in hand. So I'm hoping they draw a spell and just have to go to discard and discard something. No. Uh, that'll probably fix their mana. Yeah, like they're they probably have just a whole bunch of removal and then drakes. Hey, there we go. There's the sergeant air raid at cheer. Oh, uh, we can't be Kefnet ever. GG. 
Yeah, sorry, Hawkeye, I had to move you. We're drawing all our removal spells. And they have a creature that, that doesn't die. Shock pass. Well, we're going to immediately be cutting these Legion's ends. They're just dead cards. These shocks are dead cards. They're going. We have... We have one card in our in our hand right now. We have a lava coil. I, mean, I guess the two shocks can pair up to kill a drake. So I guess I guess they're not dead, but they're it's like one card together. No. Oh. All right, see ya. All right, let's sideboard out all those cards we drew. Let's get different cards. Thief gets shocked, but at least it gets shocked and doesn't just sit in my hand being a dead card. Do 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 do. Do do do. Um, all right, so we could cut the two. Okay, so maybe we just don't need to play the thieves or, or get rid of a couple of war bosses. Um, Yeah, probably lose a couple of war bosses. I think I like Thief more than War Boss. If we're choosing between those, I think I'd rather have Thief. Man, now I've gotten really hungry. <laughs> okay, stop. All right, sorry. I don't. Hopefully the sound still works okay. Hawkeye moved like the cord and stuff. Head butted it. Yes, I'll feed you too. We got two more matches to win here, Hawkeye, and then you'll then I'll feed you. Tempest that can be controlled. Oh, learn some respect. All right, let's go for that Moo Ultimate. Multimate. Quell your temper. <clears throat> I want negate to protect thief. Yeah, they could just like stack up burn spells to deal with Mu. Bow to the howling winds. But we also have negate protecting Mu. 
So Moo's ultimate is at eight. Islands you control have tap draw a card. We have two islands right now. We have a steam vents and a watery grave. So those two would have just tap draw a card. I don't know if I don't know if I ultimate Moo right now though, or if I tick up again and try waiting a turn. So we can keep Moo around. So I'm having Agent of Treachery is kind of rough. Let's start at a sizzle and see if you make it to the Inferno. All right, so yeah, so they're going big. They got Niv Mizzet, Agent of Treachery, Chandra. So at least we know about Chandra. That's a way to deal with Planeswalkers. I'm cutting into the God Eternals and getting the other war bosses in then. The thing is, like, Enter the God Eternals is like an answer to Kefnet. You know, like you put the Kefnet back and then mill it over. <laughs> I ulted Moo once, but then my opponent immediately resolved Narset. I still won eventually, but that really stung. Yeah, I bet. You're like, uh, this Narset. You can draw one on my turn and one on your turn. It's still pretty good, though. Convolute? Man. What a convoluted answer that was. This is looking good for my opponent. Ooh, they stopped hitting land drops. Never mind. Now it's looking good for me. I think they have flame sweep. Hopefully not. I need to hit my land drops. Splash. Not a land drop. Hmm. 
still hard. Do I get rid of cast down or cruelty? I guess, I guess it's cast down. Hey, Flamin' Chicken. So let's see, this activates, so that's five. Uh, I'm just gonna get rid of the negate. Um, probably just stick, yeah, if you have like a mono white aggro deck, just stick with that. Uh, so we are a little under a month away. September 26th is whenever there's going to be rotation and standard's going to change a whole lot. Um, we're going to have four, four sets rotate out of standard. And so only cards from Guilds of Ravnica forward, like the, the pre, the next, the uh, last four sets will be legal. And so then, yeah, so then, um, you know, if you have your deck, just recommend just playing that and, and for like the next, it's about three, that's basically four weeks. All right. Final boss time. Yeah. We were Oh one and it wasn't looking great. We were down a game. Oh one. Yeah. Yeah, after a one we were down a game and it wasn't looking good against the bad matchup. But we have fought back, fought three straight red-ish decks. And we are on our final boss. Here we go. So yeah, no more Dominaria. So uh Ixalan, Rivals of Ixalan, Dominaria, and Corset 2019. Those four sets will not be legal in standard anymore starting um, September 26th, whenever that's whenever the next set, Throne of Eldraine, releases. Standard always fluctuates from, from having five sets legal to eight sets. We currently have the eight sets. So then whenever the next set is going to release, which would be the ninth set, four of them get chopped off and it goes back down to, to five. And then next year at the same time. So it's, it's a yearly thing. Once a year, we have rotation to when the fall set releases. Lelena War Elf. Um, yeah, we'll thought Erasure because we can like bedeck plus shock. Ugh. All right, another Sultai deck. Sultai Quasi Reef. Blow up those lands. Go, Reggie, go. Go, go, Reggie, go. Oh. Two more turns. Man, that hits hard. Seven six. All 
Alright, so we'll upkeep stop. So we can upkeep a devil. Ooh, Bedevil. Come on. Come on, little computer. You got it. There we go. We did it. And they're dead. That was definitely a Grixis Shadow type game. Alright, so they're playing... Oh no, they're playing elementals. No, we drew both of our bedevils. They were so good. Can we draw our bedevils some more? So Sultai Quasi Reef. So they're they're trying to like mill themselves. They're gonna be playing all four Cavalier Thorns. Um all sorts of risen reefs and stuff, and I mean we're we're playing Soot. And Thief of Sanity, that's a good combo, but we're doing it. You get in here, you can kill things. Alright, so Mu Yanling's a dead card. We could go with could go with the cries. I guess to try to kill just Lanwar Elf and Risen Reef. Down, down. Yeah, let's get rid of Chandra. We'll get a cry in here. An extra Legion's End for Krasis. All right, extra Legion's End for Krasis. All right, here we go. Cool. Yeah, glad you're already re retooling things with the sec here, Wake. Glad, uh, glad you've been getting some good feedback from everybody in chat and everything. Oh, they're all tap lands. Oh, well, we're doing it. Draw a shock land. Dilt. I don't think there is a, a friend feature on Arena to add people on Arena right now. Shockland, please. I need to play this thief. Come on. It's a waste of a turn. Been the perfect turn to have Thief of Sandy last turn. So, unfortunately, we can't actually kill Cavalier Thorns. Cover. We got this Bedevil, but then it just comes back. Wow, their worst card was Chupacabra? Wow, their hand is loaded. Because Chupacabra is amazing. Dude, this Agent of Treachery card is busted. This Agent of Treachery card is so busted. Let me start playing some more Tristanis. Alright, well, the Legion's End look really bad.
kind of don't want any of these cards, but we have to play three of them. But I don't really want any of them. What can possibly do something? Negate, maybe? Favorite baseball team? I have, I have like two favorites. The Texas Rangers are my favorite. And close to that is the Minnesota Twins. Because um, I was born in Iowa. God, I just I don't want to play any of these. All right, guess I play you. I guess I played two of this card. So yeah, I was born in Iowa, so. I became like a Twins fan, and then I lived most of my life in the Dallas area, which is where the Texas Rangers are, and been more more invested in that team. Hey, Eddie, doing good. All right, game three against our final boss. Speaking of final boss, we need the war of the boss to start here. Come on, deck. Get that land. No. Brick. Well, we tried. Man, Eddie, yeah, I'm so yeah, so sorry about that car accident. Okay, that's good. That's good. There everything okay, that's good. So just your car. Could you know, could have been a lot worse. Man, this just happens to us every time we try facing a final boss. You know, same thing happened with Mardu deck, like the reason why we didn't get the five wins there. Um, two games in a row of we we keep a two lander, we didn't draw any lands, and then we kept a five lander and we drew only lands. I just we just can't yeah, we just can't we're just always four twos. Can't get that five wins. Oh, well. All right, so about our deck, um, yeah, like how Wake's been in here, we've been talking about uh, switching stuff up because, yeah, our, our removal suite needs to be changed. Our removal suite is basically only good against Mono Red um, and, like, Vampires. Like, like that's what every – like, everything in here is just tooled for – and even, like, our sideboard, everything's for Mono Red Vampires. Uh, we need – and, like, as we saw there, we played against three uh, – you know, Cavalier Thorns, like three elemental decks. Like elementals are really popular um, right now. There's there's a lot of different versions. You know, we played against three different versions of elementals there. There's there's just a lot of them, and we don't have good enough removal. Um, so our curve overall is really low. Lots of threes. We could play Contempts in here. Like we can. Get, like get rid of this Omnixilis. This is cruelty and um 
I mean, basically, I don't. I mean, I don't really love the shocks. They were they were okay though. Um, the bedecks really weren't that good. I'd get rid of the bedecks. Get these contempts in here, and then I don't. I don't like Mu Yanling whatsoever. Like if you're playing a bunch of contempts, like I guess you're saying you liked Mu Yanling against Aggro, but like I wouldn't. I wouldn't play those. Like there's so many other cards we could play. Like we could play like Rekindling Phoenix. I mean, there's just so many different options. We could get like Dreadhorde Butchers in here to get some more threats. Um, you know, we can cut a couple more removal spells, get some Dreadhorde Butchers. I wouldn't mind playing a fourth Regisaur, fourth War Boss. Um, there's just so many things that we could do here. Uh, yeah, a bunch of things we could do. Uh, just get some Nickel Bulls Dragon Gods in here. That's an option. I know, like, we want to keep our curve low with Rotting Regisaur, though. Um, Thief and Main Deck instead of Moo. I don't, I don't know if I love Thief Main Deck. I think I would rather just have fourth Regisaur, fourth War Boss than, than Thief. Um, like I'd rather just have those. If you have more Dragon Gods, I like those in the sideboard in like the matchups, like where they go long or where you you kind of turn into control deck. I like having more of these Dragon Gods. I like Dragon God more than Chandra. The Chandra just seemed like really expensive, but but then again, our mana base is kind of rough for Dragon God of getting of triple black with just the sixteen black sources. So that's another thing there. Um, but then yeah, as we talked about, like sideboard, we have to have like actual planeswalker removal, which I guess we have contempts now. But yeah, I need to get like some grasps. You know, we have we have too many Cry of the Carnariums like. Cry like our with our deck with like War Boss Thief. Don't love these Cry of the Carnariums. I don't even know if you need that card at all, honestly. With all this other like cheap removal. Yeah, I really don't think you need this card at all. Like I, I would rather have the second ritual of Sid against the green decks where it kills all the X3s. But then I guess Ritual so it kills your Regisaur and Knight, though, and everything. So I don't know. Um, we already just have so much stuff against Aggro. <clears throat> Honestly, I'd kind of just say a fourth Contempt in the sideboard. Because... Contempt is so good against those big green creature decks, but honestly, Contempt's just good against aggro also. Yeah, sure, you, it trades down on mana against, like, uh, Chain Whirler, but still, you, you know, you want to get rid of, like, Chain Whirler and Chandra and everything. You gain that life. It's just a good card. But yeah, could have Elder Spell. That's another option, playing an Elder Spell. Um... Uh, that's not a bad option. Could have, like, a Fry also. Um, could have, like, an Unmoored Ego to help you out against Field of the Dead. Could play some Unmoored Egos. Um, you know, or, or I was talking about, maybe instead of this Contempt, honestly, just get in, I was, I was talking about getting another Nicol Bolas in here. That's a spot for a second Nicol Bolas. Actually, yeah, just do, just do that. Get another Nicol Bolas in here. Um, but there we go. Okay. But there we go. That was some Grixis aggro. So, like, Grixis shadow in standard. Um, also, Wake, if you haven't seen... I have, like, a, a similar... I guess like it's Grixis mid-range, but it's similar. If you haven't seen me play this deck, you know, check this one out on the YouTube channel also. But it's very similar. If you want to see, like... If you want to see another deck that's that's like yours, check you know go check out some Grixis midrange over there, um, and then you know maybe you see some stuff like with this deck that you like that you want to change up with your deck, also. So yeah, have like you know probably like four videos here with the Grixis midrange you can check out there. But anyway, that was our Grixis aggro. 
So if you're watching the video later on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe buttons over there. Leave some comments. Always like seeing the comments that y'all leave. Um, and there we go. But that's it. So thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you for the next video.